The CFW 320 series has expanded capability above the CFW 300. With 460 volt models up to 10 horsepower and optional Ethernet connectivity. Drives are available in 115 volt from quarter to 1.5 horsepower, 230 volt single phase from 1 quarter to 3 horsepower, 230 volt 3 phase up to 5 horsepower, and 460 volt up to 10 horsepower. The base drives are budget friendly, general purpose VFDs that are easy to set up and use and are ideal for centrifugal pumps, fans, blowers, blenders, mixers, centrifuges, compressors, conveyors, etc. Because they come in three compact frame sizes and can be mounted with zero clearance between drives and can be mounted either on DIN rail or flat surfaces with these convenient mounting tabs. Simple contactor style wiring segregates the line and load side wiring on the top and bottom of the drive. These drives can be operated either in vector or scalar modes and even have a built-in soft PLC, dynamic braking, multi-speed, PID, and fire mode functions. The internal circuit boards are even conformally coated to ensure greater protection for environments with corrosive chemicals. These are all the kinds of features you would only expect in high-performance drives. The front panel LCD display is simple to operate. You can display two different parameters, numerically, or via bar graph. Press P to get to the parameters, select the parameter, and enter a value. Intuitive and with minimal keystrokes. You can also use the free WEG programming software to configure the drive, monitor the drive, and program the soft PLC. It can even be used to manage multiple drives or systems. And the CFW320 has the same setup and parameters as the CFW300, so you can take your knowledge and any of our CFW300 videos and apply them to the CFW320. The basic drives don't come with any communication capability to keep costs down, but there are a number of communication modules that are inexpensive and easy to add on by plugging into the slot under this cover. The USB module is just for configuring and monitoring the drive. The RS-232, 485, and Ethernet modules can also be used for networking, and the 485 module has an extra port on it so you can connect to an optional remote HMI, which is ideal for panel mounting. And since the remote HMI is just hanging off the 485 network, it also gives you access terminals to the 485 pins and termination resistors that can be turned on and off. The lower slot is for adding more I.O. via the optional I.O. modules. So, without an option module installed, the drive has four digital inputs, one analog input configured for voltage or current, a digital relay output, and a 10 volt reference to use with a potentiometer. You can add analog and digital I.O., relay outputs, encoder inputs, even a high speed I.O. module, and a plug in potentiometer module. Just keep in mind that you can only add one communication module and one I.O. module and the pot consumes the communication slot. The optional flash memory module makes it easy to quickly transfer parameters to the drive. You just connect it to this dedicated port on top of the drive via the included cable and transfer the parameters. One word of caution, this flash memory module connector looks like a mini USB connector. It isn't, and plugging a USB device into this connector can damage your USB device and the drive. So please don't plug any USB devices into this connector. The optional EMI emission filters simply plug right into the drives to help keep noise generated by the drives from getting back into your system. And there are even replaceable fans which just snap right into place. Click here to see more CFW 300 and 320 series videos. Click here to shop for drives for your applications and click here to subscribe to be notified of new products and solutions.